How are you doing today? I'm going to talk about children are not born with instructions and parents and teachers are not qualified instructors of children. <clears throat> in fact, I would suggest that no one is qualified as an instructor of children because <clears throat> no one really understands how children um, learn. Uh, there, well, I can't say no one <laughs> because if you study the destiny material, you will find that some do. However, it's not being implemented. Even by many of us who understand these points or are learning these points, we're still learning, right? Now there are tools that one can use to support themselves and their children in the best possible way. Those were not created by me because I'm still in a process of learning about all of this and applying it, implementing it, and changing myself. However, uh, those tools I would highly suggest that you check out and that would be Destiny and TechnoTutor. Uh, those were created by someone who has already walked the point and understood how all of this works, and that will become apparent as you use the tools and walk them, that you can support a child to become far superior to what you realize was possible. The evidence of that you can see in my videos um, with my son, and as Seneca develops, you'll see that with her as well. Um, you can also see it in a lot of the videos, for example, that Gian and Layla and others are putting out that live uh, at the Destiny Farm and so forth. For now, what I'm going to do is do something I haven't quite done before, which is I'm going to read some of Creation's Journey to Life. Now, this is day 110. So all of the context may not be there for you to fully grasp all this. I would suggest to go back and start at day one and read them every day from day one, one, one blog a day. I'm not going to go back and do that on these live videos because I've already been reading them for some time. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll go back and do live videos reading each one from the beginning. But I'm already at day 110 myself. Um, I've read a lot of these blogs before, but never consistently day by day like I'm doing now. And I can tell you that the understanding I have and also the ability to apply and change within myself has accelerated significantly just from doing that process. Also doing it with Heaven's Journey. Um, but I'm not going to read that one in this video. I'm just going to read day 110 from Creation's Journey. And hopefully, as I'm reading it, it'll make sense. And you might want to follow along. I'll post the link here, actually. Should have done that in the description, but I didn't consider it. So I'm posting the comment here if you want to read along with me as I'm saying it out loud. Um, but, uh, you know, sometimes the feedback I get from people when they try to read these blogs is that it's just too much. It's, it's hard to understand, especially Heaven's Journey. That's just because of a low vocabulary and processing ability. So we can help you with that with TechnoTutor. If you use TechnoTutor every day and we show you how to use it and everything, the whole process, over time you will absolutely accelerate your ability to process information. And so reading something like this, or especially even Heaven's Journey, which is a little bit more... Uh, detailed and, and, and sort of complex in a certain way um, because the way things are defined and spoken about and written about is not the way we would normally look at them in our normal life, but they're defined in the correct way. Whereas in our normal lives, everything is defined in a way that's just defined within self-interest. So it's sort of a different starting point of the information. I think that's what people are really struggling with. But using a tool uh, well, using TechnoTutor is going to support you to move through the resistances to the information, but then also using the Destiny I process, you'll be able to have a systematic way to apply a lot of the things or all of the things really that are in these blogs and so forth. But for now, I'm just going to start with reading this one. Okay, so here it is. <clears throat> I forgive myself that I have accepted and allowed myself to not realize that children are born without instructions that the parents are the ones that instruct the children into the structure of the world, which currently is primarily based on competition, which allows few to have constructive lives and ensure that most live destructive lives. I forgive myself that I have accepted and allowed myself to not realize that parents are not instructed how to instruct children and are thus not qualified to be instructors and are thus destructors that will even defend their right to destroy their children, in spite of the fact that if one's not trained in effective direct instruction, one is in fact not qualified to have children under one's supervision and would never employ someone unqualified to do a job. Yet, the most important job on earth, which is to instruct newborn children, 
is allowed to be instructed by unqualified, inadequate trainers, resulting in a world where no one is in fact ever qualified or instructed to be part of a society that is best for all present on earth. And although lip service is paid to ideals like love thy neighbor as thyself, it is never actualized as the parent as a new life, unqualified instruction, never learned the practical implication where love thy neighbor as thyself actually exists. I forgive myself that I have accepted and allowed myself to not realize that by implication, because parents are unqualified to direct life, all development programs within education, employment, economics, and psychology will by definition also be inadequately qualified and instructed in what it means to actually direct life in an ideal way as, for instance, love thy neighbor as thyself. And thus, because those presenting themselves as leaders of instruction will never be able to instruct life in an ideal way on earth, as they were not instructed on how to live life in this ideal way, therefore they would claim that such ideas are idealism without ever doing self-honest self-reflection to see that what one is not instructed to become, one is never able to live. And thus, the key to an ideal world should be able to be realized through common sense reasoning. But because common sense reasoning is not even part of current instructions on earth, humans, no matter how educated, remain ignorant, as they were instructed from birth to plead ignorance and follow instructions, or they'll not be able to make a living. And so the fear of survival becomes the motivator for all instructions on earth, making earth a planet where most struggle for survival just because life is not properly instructed on how to coexist in ways that are best for all life. I forgive myself that I have accepted and allowed myself to not realize that the ignorant way of instruction on earth has been deified as religious faith in every conceivable way to act as a justifiable excuse as to why apparently the human as parent as the foundation of society is patently unable to instruct a newborn life form to live in a way of excellence that is best for all life resulting in all kinds of insane claims of deities that apparently have a greater purpose through this deliberate spreading of total ignorance. <clears throat> I forgive myself that I have accepted and allowed myself to not realize that this ignorance is perpetuated by instructing children that they must learn through their own experiences without realizing that these experiences will be based on inadequate training and thus will be inadequate and that this will lead to inadequate realizations that always justify the way the world of ignorance functions. But because the characters built by parents were instructed to protect their ignorance no matter what, any real practical common sense instruction will be ignored unless it leads to survival. And thus ways to make money, as money is presented to be the road to success for the ignorant that must and always be protected, as survival is the ultimate fear parents instructed as the foundation in their children. I commit myself to show that all education and intellect on earth is based on the foundation of ignorance, to disregard the fact that the initial instructions of a newborn child were inadequate and thus at root cause for a world and society that live in ways that do not honor life or each other, but only honor survival as successful living. I commit myself to show that the foundation of positive and negative results that are used as self-motivation in the game of survival are based on ignorance and ignoring that all participants in life are on earth are inadequately instructed as to how to live in a way that will be best for self and all other life forms. And in this, living much positive negative consider consideration does not in fact produce a better world. It only justifies an inadequate society in astounding ignorance. I commit myself to show that no one can walk the path of self-correction as what is best for all life without instructions as the way to life is not in the inner structure of the human. And thus the destiny I process is of essential importance if one is ready to face the nature of a world of ignorance. I commit myself to show that those lost in ignorance will attack viciously in every conceivable way, anyone that dares to challenge the way of survival. As those living as survival are in fact only living as fear and know nothing but fear. And once they have found a way to survive and manage the fear, they see themselves as successful. Thus realize that one that attacks is in fact only a well-trained survivalist that must protect the fear of survival as that, as that is what motivates such beings existence. 
Many will not realize their ignorance with ease, and in most cases will only realize when all is lost and money runs out the door. Um, place your, I'm um, sorry, I'm looking for my browser. Here we go. Place your comments on what you understood from that in the video or in the comment section of the video. And perhaps even go back and read it for yourself. I would suggest to read these out loud. I read them uh, every day if possible, but I read them out loud. And I do that with both creation's journey and heaven's journey. And hopefully what you can take from that, even if you don't have the full context of having read from the beginning, is that this information is presenting the reality of life on earth. It's not information from a higher source that's that like we have to believe in. It's just talking about what's really going on and being honest about it. And there's nothing else that I've seen other than the destiny material that's like, this is really just the honest reality about truth and what's going on on this planet. And here's what we can do about it. And much of that is basically just self-reflection within self-honesty, being completely honest with yourself so that you can see what you need to change within yourself and what you need to change in the world. And to make that change, we forgive ourselves, that's self-forgiveness, and then we commit ourselves to acting differently, to behaving differently. And when we fall short of that, then we can look at the feedback and see, okay, where did, how, why did I fall short? Let me see, let me break it down and see what it was that I still am allowing within myself that's causing me to act in a way that is just basically based on fear of survival. Because the only way for us to have a better world that's not based on everybody fighting and competing for survival is for us to let go of that fear of survival. But then we also have to create a system that manages resources and everything on earth so that we have no reason to be afraid of survival. Because right now we have a system that deliberately takes what's given freely from the earth and manages it in a way where only some benefit and, some, and many starve and many don't have what they need. And that in itself creates a fear of survival in a, in a competition for resources. It doesn't have to be that way, right? And what that start, where that starts is with children in the very beginning, where as parents, we imprint them with survival fears, and we tell them all kinds of story about, stories about things that aren't real in order to imprint fear and control and all kinds of things. Um, and, and we say that we do it out of love, but it's really out of fear. And so love is just the way we cover it up to justify the fear point. So these are really cool points to consider. I would like for you to place some comments uh, just so I can kind of see what you took away from what you heard today. Um, again, what I was reading was not something I wrote. It was something that I'm just reading off of Creation's Journey to Life. I posted the link there of the specific post that I was reading from. And I post some comments. And if you thought this video was cool, please share it and uh, I'd encourage you to make videos of your own and talk about some things that, that you think are important. All right, we'll see you on the next one. Bye.